After two years of closure, the education sector registered the worst crisis of the century, which requires a multi-sector approach for the resumption. The Ministry of Education and Sports is engaging sector stakeholders on how safe and proper reopening can be done. In with this, the Ministry developed a multi-sector strategy with COVID-19 related interventions under three broad objectives. One was to is to ensure vaccination of the population focusing on all staff and students aged 18 years and above. The Minister of Education and Sports, Janet Museven, while opening the stakeholders engagement through Macquarie University Council Chairperson, Lona Magara, confirmed the readiness of the Ministry for commencement. Public primary schools to cater for the expected increased enrollment in, at primary one. The Ministry will continue mobilizing for additional resources to implement essential interventions for educational institutions, safe and sustainable reopening. Minister has revealed the program of orienting tutors and teachers for proper sectoral recovery. Innovation and repair of schools, enhancing continuity of learning, review of the school curriculum for recovery of lost learning time. During the two years period of agony to the ministry, several interventions were invented to reach approximately 2 million school-going population, but poor infrastructure failed its effectiveness. E-learning is adapted and implemented without disadvantaging those learners without access. We are cognizant of the challenges of access to internet because, both limited, because of both limited connectivity and the high cost of data. World Bank reviewed local interventions facilitating distance learning and more than a half of the intended population was not reached. The quality of remote learning alternatives varied and many education systems were unable to offer remote instruction that covered the equivalent of what students learned in school uh, throughout uh, through their normal uh, educational programs. The World Bank research prospects that percent of students not going back to school and over 4,000 schools likely not to resume. A 100% increase in depression and anxiety symptoms in children globally. We've also witnessed over $16 trillion of loss in future income. 370 million children in 150 countries missed out on a daily school meal which was not always made up for um, at home. The education sector is expected to leverage on technology to respond to the dynamic demands. It is going to come to a time when so many children want to come to uh, get a university education and we don't have the facilities in Uganda. That's why we came up with that online uh, policy. And the, the intention was that a lot of children can actually study online. They don't have to come physically to the university. It should be noted that COVID-19 pandemic was clustered by World Bank as the worst century crisis which warrants new innovations by leveraging on technology to deal with the multi-sector challenges. Abdul Nasili Lubwama and Lydia Chomkama for UBC News.